Hi, and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Um, this is actually the last tutorial of this series for now. Um, I've been thinking, uh, you know, which fly should we have? Which fly do I want to have in the box? And actually, I've spent the whole day trying to tie this one, this candy, you know, craft fur candy. I'm just going to call it CF candy. You know, it's for me, it takes about six minutes to tie but again how to show you guys how to tell you know how how to show you how to do it that's a challenge but i think i have it now and i really love to show you uh, and as always there's a link to my sponsor in the description to know this is good still and also thanks a lot for the new supporters the patreon supporters thank you uh, they mean a lot to me so also link to my patreon page and to the social media and everything down there below uh, okay for this fly uh, i'm using craft fur and i have two colors this is from uh, sibai this is a brand my sponsor have uh, i have a brown raccoon and a silver gray one this is the silver gray and I have a brown raccoon. And these are a medium fiber up to six, six centimeters. So these are perfect for small, small, you know, small gobies uh, or minnows as these ones. So we're gonna, that's the craft fur. And for the hook, I'm using um, the Arex NS 110 in a size eight. I find the size eight is perfect for the uh, length of the fibers for this fly yeah that's the hook and I'm using just uh, a red thread I, I like the red thread because it kind of shows through you know in so it comes out of a throat I like the red thread this is just an uni thread 6o uh, and we're using Solaris this is the UV cure I like to use uh, this is a thin one that's the one I have it's perfect uh, and I use a UV torch and scissor and a very important tool for this fly is actually a pen that I've taken out, you know, the tip. So we're going to push over the hook, the materials. I'm going to show you. Make sure you have one of these and also have a nice clean needle. That's the dubbing needle. That's very important because you're going to fiddle around with the glue and everything and you don't want a full needle that's dirty. Good pair of scissors. We're also going to use some prismatic tape eyes. This is pearl white, the same as I use in Jiggy. Use whatever you want. I like the, the tape eyes because they don't build as much. And I, I feel I have a lot more control over the amount of glue and everything. So that's the eyes. Last video, guys. Uh, I'm out fishing. Tomorrow, actually, I'm starting filming uh, my fishing videos. So, cheers. Cup of tea. It's late in the evening. I've been doing this all day for you guys. So, uh, I hope you appreciate it. And I will be glad if you like to subscribe to my channel. That, would, that you know, that helps me up a lot. Uh, yeah. So, cheers. I just have a cup of tea. <laughs> I'm not having coffee this late. So, uh, and also, as you can see, I've used some flush in the top. I tried to tie this fly with, you know, having a red line on the side, but that was so hard and I I don't care. I, I, I think this looks, looks great. And I'm using the Peacock Mirror Flash. It's sort of an olive color. I, that works great for, for, the, for the small minnows and gobies. I like to, you know, imitate. So, yeah. <sighs> Look at the box. Da, 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 da. It's finished. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, for you guys in Norway and Sweden, I have a web page. And it's, an, it's in Norwegian. But I'm gonna put off a full, if you check the link, mean through box, my box. You can check out all the flies there on my, on my web page. So the last fly going in is this one, the CF candy. And the box is complete. <laughs> I'm really happy. I'm so stoked, you know, I'm going fishing tomorrow and the weather is forecast is amazing. Ooh, okay, let's start with this fly, you guys. So let's put in a hook. 
start in the front, go back about five millimeters, four to five millimeters. And we're actually gonna tie in this first section is gonna go we're gonna tie in underneath. So stop in the middle, flip it around. Okay, so now we're gonna tie in the belly. So I'm gonna snip out a piece and this, you know, it's so important to work with the materials because uh, if you put on too much hair, this fly is not going to look good. So I'm going to show you the best I can. I'm going to pinch this part, this color part with my fingers. And you really need to f open up this thing and pull out all the junk. It's so much short fibers, you don't want that in this fly. Because the most of this fly is is you know is is cure is resin. You don't want any, uh, want you don't want any short fibers coming out. So pull out as much as the short stuff you can, and look at the amount. Um, can you see on the GoPro? It's a little, very very thin. You know, don't overdress it. Start with a few few fibers and then add the first fly you tie take a little bit less than this as well and then add a little bit okay it's gonna be so much easier for you don't overdo it so I'm gonna flip this around and these fibers are six, six, six centimeters so you know I really want to use as much as I can of the length flip it around hold it in my right hand Grab the bunch with your left, my left hand, pinch it, pinch the thread, go down and up and take two, three turns. Now we're going to check that this is underneath. We don't want any fiber up here. That's very important because it's going to mess up the colors and everything. So make sure everything is underneath. Go forwards with your thread. Can you see? And when you do this, the fibers, they want to roll, you know, with, with the same way, uh, with the same, <laughs> you know, with the thread. So you have to always pull it back. And divide the fibers. This looks great. And we want to tie all the way up to the hook eye. Very important to go all the way up. Comb it. Go back down again. And snip off as much as you can of this stuff. I'm gonna use my insane sharp little scissor. Like that. And then Jet's gonna tie down these butts. Touching turns. Take your time. Go back up again. And I'm gonna stop at the same point as we uh, started there. Oh, that looks great. Perfect, can you see? Perfect divided, same amount, and it kind of fans out. And you can, th if you think this is the center of the hook, you just, you know, you're dividing the hook in 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 the middle. So you have uh, this part is the is, is this part, and up here is the gray part. Okay, yeah. So now I'm gonna tie in the crystal flash, a whole length, the crystal flash. On the top, I like to have it on top. You can do whatever you want. I find it, it the fly looks great and it's it's easy. All the way up, can you see? All the way up, very important, all the way up and go back here again. And I'm gonna snip this off a little bit longer than the whole thing. <laughs> okay, let's tie in the gray in the top. I'm gonna do the same here. Snip out a nice bunch of fibers like that in my left hand, and I'm gonna take open up, pinch it the tips, open up, and pull out every short fiber. Come on, pull it, pull it, pull it again, pinch it, open up, pull out the junk, the shorter fibers. You don't want that. And I'm using this, trying to have the same amount of fibers on the top as I have underneath. So I'm looking for the same bunch of fibers. Can you see? 
the same amount. And this you have to practice, as I told you, you have to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Okay. Flip it around. <laughs> Grab it with your left finger and an in, in index finger. Make sure your thread is two millimeters from the hook eye. Pinch it, pinch the whole thing, grab the thread, go down, couple of turns, two, three. And now make sure, oh, that's perfect. Make sure the fibers are divided equally, you know? So you don't have a gap there. You don't want to have a gap in between the two colors. So you can use your nail if you want, roll it around a little bit. Make sure it's perfect and all the way up to the hook eye, tighten down, go back again. You can, you can check it by pulling back the fibers. Oh, that's perfect. And then we'll need to snip off the butts and we need to tie down all the butts. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do a couple of half hitches because we're gonna glue the whole thing. So just finish off the, the, the thread with a couple of it finish or something. It really doesn't matter. Just secure it. Are we ready? We're gonna use some cure resin and I'm gonna fill up a little bit here before I fold it over. I find it so much easier to tie this fly by doing that. So I'm gonna start pressing out a little bit of resin and now I'm gonna just touch the fibers with the glue. Touch it, touch it, very carefully touch it just a little bit because this is gonna help you when you flip it around. I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna put on a little bit here. Always rotating the fly. The, the rotary device is really handy at this point. I'm just gonna rotate it and I'm gonna have my torch ready and I'm gonna have my pen. Make sure it's nice and clean. Pull up and press on and, and comb the fibers back, okay? Hold everything backwards, take it out one <laughs> once and do it again because now you're gonna comb the fibers and I like to pinch it like that. Because I like a flat profile of my fly, pinch, pull everything back, get rid of this one, and then set it at just the, the front. Just in the front. Okay? Just there. And just there. Now you have set, you know, set the fly and set, you know, the shape of the fly. And at the first, I tried to do this and then put on the glue, but it, it was so hard. It, it, it was so gooey and the fibers went everywhere. This way, so much easier. So much easier. I have a perfect, perfect little fly to build on. And I have my flash in the top. So this tool is very important, you know? Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna put on eyes, a little dab on each side and, and just, you know, gonna hold them in place just a little dab there put on an eye make it showing it's in the middle just cure it and it's gonna help you when you you when you're gonna put on some more glue yeah and one on the other side and uh, can you see the little hump I have there and you can use uh, a blade and make sure this is nice and flat. One of these, but be careful because uh, this can also cut you very fast. So I'm just gonna make sure there's no fibers messing up my eyes. Okay. <laughs> a little dab of glue on the side. Just a little dab. Can you see the red thread? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's so cool. This fly, I'm going to fish with this fly. I know a perfect spot where there are a lot of small, small gobies. 
and the gobies they swim in into the shallows and feed on small small scuds and everything um oh i'm looking forward to fish for this fly this is going to be a fish catcher for me so make sure they are perfect aligned yeah you can fiddle around i'm just going to cure it the most important is it, 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 it's flat Now comes the fun part. Now comes the really fun part. Now we're going to finish our fly. <laughs> and I'm going to wipe my needle. And this is fibers everywhere. And then we're going to divide the fibers underneath. And I think I'm, ah, I'm, this looks actually very nice. This looks very great. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Divide it. And as I told you, I like to pinch the fibers like that because I like a flat profile on my fly. Okay. So let's cure more, more resin, more glue. Start in the between the eyes with a dab. Go back and forwards over the eyes, back and forwards, back and squeezing the bottle a little bit. Don't put on too much. Move your, your uh, rotary vise along, back and forwards, back and forwards. You're now dividing the glue and I'm going to move my bobbin back and I'm going to go backwards towards the uh, hook point, you know. Almost not squeezing the bottle. Move back. Making sure I'm dipping the tip in, you know, in the glue. Dividing it and I'm going to stop when I'm aligned with the hook point. Continue back and forwards, back and forwards. I'm going to stop there. We're going to have a, a last, you know, I'm going to do this one more time. And I'm, I'm taking my torch, ready, pull back, take the top, flip it around. <laughs> pull, flash it underneath, and I'm going to do the sides set the resin so now i've made a nice profile this is a technique you have to practice did you see how fast i was pull flash top flip over let it sink flash to the sides doom, doom. <laughs> and now the last turn i'm gonna start in the back because i want a little bigger body Start in the back. I think this this method I'm I'm doing this fly is it's doable. Yeah, it's really cool. You should really try it. And I'm going forwards, making sure I'm always having the tip in the glue. You know, don't rush it. And I'm almost not squeezing the bottle at all. Very little glue coming out. Just making sure I move it back and forwards, back and forwards. I'm going to set it really soon. I'm going to check it. Back and forwards, back and forwards. And I'm going to spin it a little bit. I'm gonna do like that. I'm going to set it when I think it's, uh, you know, where I want it. Pull a little bit on the tail. Oh, that's perfect. I'm very happy. So I'm rotating the fly because then the glue will kind of divide equally. And I'm going to set it. Then I'm going to make sure the fly is not moving. Set the top. Move it a little bit. Set it underneath. Move it a little bit. Do the sides. And the sides. Because when you're using a pen, this this thing, if you spin it, and then you're gonna push the glue around, and it doesn't look right. So I'm gonna give it in, give it a little bit more with the light, and now you can always go in in the back and put on some more glue. I'm not gonna do that. I'm very happy with this one. I have the thin profile in the back. It's it's just perfect. This is gonna catch me a lot of fish. I know it. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the C and F, CF, 
I don't know, CF Candy? Candy Crush. We can call it Candy Crush. Let's call it Candy Crush. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're just gonna... This is the last video. Thanks a lot, guys. Hmm... Thanks a lot for all the comments. Thanks a lot for support and all your new Patreon supporters. This is gonna help me for weeks, you know, with uh, I'm gonna head on out on the islands, make videos, and I have my box. It's full of beautiful flies. And I'm gonna link a, put a link to my sponsor, Nordis Fiskustyr. They have been amazing and they are amazing. They are helping me out with materials and everything. And uh, I'm gonna put a link to, you know, my social media and my Instagram. You can follow me there. And many of the, you guys try to tie the perfect Leo worm and tag me. That's really cool. And you can do this. Uh, tag me. Try to tie this fly and tag me. And I will give you a shout out on, on my Instagram. Okay. I, th I think we're done. Uh, next time we're, I'm gonna see you out there and we're gonna fish some sea trout. And uh, yeah, the box is complete. Good luck with your box. I hope you like these videos and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Okay, goodbye.